Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the program Times Exclusive here on Times Television. My name is Brian Banda. Glad you could join us. In this edition of the program, I'll be talking to Dr. Jerry Jana. Dr. Jana is the running mate to the former president who is now running for the People's Party ticket in the May 21 polls. I love brilliant green on my walls. I love signal red, sweet lime, electric blue. I just love golden yellow. You get all that and more at Rainbow Paints. Imagine a water-based paint that is water resistant. Imagine a paint that is absolutely washable to remove dirt. And it guarantees you 10,000 cleaning scrubs over its lifespan without losing its luster. There can only be one paint that does just that. And that paint is acrylic sheen. Get yours today at all leading hardware stores. Rainbow Bates. Peace of mind. Part of the deal. Tikutero kuti tikulandireni mprogramu ina anso sabata ino. Ya Times Exclusive. Ndine Brian Banda. Mnendo watu mprogramu hii ndi Dr. Jerry Jana. Dr. Jana na amene agu ima nao pa president ndi my Dr. Joyce Banda. Kushibani cha Peoples. Dr. Jerry Jana, Tikulandireni, Mazloano, Panopa Times Television. First of all, congratulations, Tikukumana, after a historic event, Kukomesa Hall. Did you, at what stage, Muda Ziwantawianji, Kutimui Mandi, Dr. Joyce Pan, and the Bow Tengao, Pogwera Uda Beramanji? We were coming from a meeting in Lelongwe mm. that Sunday. Mm. Or was it Monday? Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Ndiku fika parirangwe. Mm. Kulangira message. Tionane mao kudomasi. Mm. Odu miza ajois banda. Ajois banda. Mm. I would like you to be, the, the message was, I would like you to run with me. Mm. Then I read the message. So you can imagine, we are driving, you know. Uh, I was being driven, of mm. course. So it took me a bit of time, you know. And... Uh, and the message went further. If you agree, let's meet tomorrow morning in Domasi to strategize. So my response was, I'll be there in the morning. Okay. Which is almost saying, yes, mm. I'll be there in the morning. Mm. So that, that Tuesday morning, I was in, in, in Domasi, you know, and our meeting took 10 minutes. This is what I had, I'm proposing. And our strategy is this. I've chosen you because of your business you know, experience. And uh, because you and I share one common thread. Kuti inu mabanga ma business ya kuwa kuru. Ine ni mabanga ma business ya unu angunu. Potandi za azimai and to, uh, uh, in the informal sector. Then the gains that get to be able to shito. Kuti tandi it was like that. Two days prior to my nomination, Nkuti Adane Nkuti Saima. What changed, Dr. Jana? The dynamics is very, very interesting. Mm. As Nick, we had given her the mandate to negotiate for an alliance. And at that meeting, Nick, 
We looked at all different options and we preferred the UTM option. Okay? So, um, yes, it will give you the mandate to go and negotiate. But our preference mm -hmm. was that she should be the torchbearer. But we had not limited her to that. And so forth. Before the actual MOU. Now, mu alliance manager abwere ena wa tikonse na onso ajoina mumemo as you saw the you know the mm. agreement, right? The anati tana tsopano if a an no a neck, a few of us who could go there mm. that Sunday. After several exhaustive meetings with the alliance, mm -hmm. you know, um, mkutuza kuna na kuti. Zosu za nda bwino. Tina gwiri za nanso kuti izi kala 50-50 all the way down. Kuma sipana kunduza kunena kuti uh, in spite of the agreement we had earlier on. Kunena kuti ineyo nda zitsita inu mnanena kuti ineyo should be the preferred candidate to be the torch bearer. Kuma naona kuti for the sake of the country. As long as I can have somebody I can trust to lead the nation, mm -hmm. I'm willing I am willing to forego that. And I don't even have to be on the ballot. Now, by that time, they have been talking since last year. Okay. Kilima has been contacting Amai and so forth since last year. Okay. In passing, he actually had indicated to Amai without Amai. Mungoti Sira if Anyamara to Bankis Mingis. Anyamara. Inu yo. You stand down. Ine, you should be the torch bearer. And Mungundi Pasa, Manawa and Roy. Ajiri Mao. Ajiri Mao. Kuma was a Joyce Banda. My consultations are my discussion now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Ine Mungundi Pasa Roy. Inu, you just stand down. Um, so, Nkani Mine, you went to Makuma no Kuneki, you force it. Okay? Now, it is only at this meeting, Sopano Titabuera, on the Sunday, where we had a discussion there because they had another long meeting from the previous day to actually the dawn of the Sunday. So she briefed us. You know, now they are saying that, you know, uh, they will not have a running mate from PP. In fact, Roy cannot be the candidate. Chifukwa, the Catholics, have rejected this on the grounds that you are a Catholic and Roy is a Catholic. Mm -hmm. yeah? So we cannot go on, you know, we, we, can, we cannot support this. So my, I'm going to go. Oh, young plus minutes. She must want to watch the brief man. Oh, eh? Could he aga to the Gagana? Eh, I watched a brief man. Uh huh. We had a session of almost three days uh -huh. discussing this issue. Could it long way? Could it long way? Okay. Where? Forty three. Oh, when you go my. Oh, so I did my mother. Minute. I'm with a minute. When you go out, what is the in the regular and got to put the meeting place. Uh huh. So, they would go. Did you change? All right. So, Kumuza Roy, you know. So all this time, you know, the the understanding was that Kuti, the running mate was coming from where? PP. And you saw it in the write-up. You remember that one? The agreement? Mm -hmm. yeah? That was just an agreement between them, the three parties. Okay? PP, UTM, and the our T... Tikonze. Tikonze. Mm. So everybody, our Tikonze and the PP... You know, they were agreeable. No, no the candidate, the, the running mate must come from PP. Okay? And Mai was willing to give in to that. Until this moment. She even agreed 
kuna vitu okay roy she not stand and kumusa roy roy so was agreeable like, no 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 as far as i'm concerned i'm okay i'm happy to be uh, a member of parliament but you know the uh, okay fine so it was almost a fait accompli kuna mm-hmm. kuda now we'll choose somebody else from as long as you're not a catholic from pp so chimene shida avuta ndi rohi was that kuti ajirima ndi aji katolika rohi is also a catholic that's where the problem was that was where not that chirima had a problem ndi ndi rohi not at all not at all that was utm not... did not have a problem with rohi no, is that what i'm getting from I, you i can't say utm i can only say chirima okay yeah mm-hmm. because the reason i'm saying i cannot say utm is what followed this was when he went back hmm? and uh, maybe now after consultation and came back to meet mai this time when he came and in the secretary general this is now the sunday if it abuela to go away for the sunday okay at a for this meeting the story now changed we would know if you according to our constitution we are not going to take anybody else from another party the running mate must come from UTA mm. meaning that the torch bearer and the running mate both of them should come from UTM in an alliance of this nature so everybody was taken apart you know oh. so what is this now i guess this is a situation so obviously to cut the story short mm. i just told them it's a non starter it's a non starter and the afternoon that the very the very afternoon of that day a kurijina na bila kuza kuza endera mai arijuna arijuna to pp ah pp okay eh na zaje zandi mai kumene koko and in no uncertain terms they made it very plain to the president kunena kuti if you allow see to get a support for as long as the ballot paper ko if it correct ndigeza mm-hmm. tabantu kisiza kuti mai sai mai mm-hmm. ali for as long as on the ballot paper if it carry mm-hmm. meaning kuti na kuti you may stand down but that means the running mate must come from pp mm. so here she was in a very difficult situation okay so when she was briefing us he said oh akuta abwela so akakambira nenso and so forth so we just told my to give us a point and i can not give us a point mai if this is what they're insisting on because the condition on how we go to Tsobano and how we go to if it didn't go on and how we go no fortunately by that time the sixth sense had already told her kuna kuti this if they are changing statements like this this may be just a, be a delaying tactic if it is done as is already she had sent our elections the director of elections would have pita kapere kama pepa mhm by that time he was already on his way bwa kuplanta kuza kuza chita uche kuza sign some paper so the final you know uh, nail on the coffin was when they came they came now finally you know kuna no unfortunately you know those messages assist and unfortunately at that meeting now kunali awaso at at konzea ana bwera ndi kuimva nkane nja at konze na also they were flabbergasted uh, by this really you know uh, what kind of an alliance is this going to be we agree one thing today mm. just at about on the 11th hour when we are just about to sign on the dotted line the MOU you come up with this anyway the other things the secretary generals were meeting and so forth and looking at the constitution we are just you know now water under the bridge so she made she told them in no uncertain terms mm. this is a non starter let's not waste our time so kugutengani nukuti adasawa pa ogwira nkulako kuya nkula jonjo no not at all sikulako apa not at all ada kutengani inuyo mm-hmm. chifo choti a Joyce Banda aswa pa ogwira no eh uh-huh. mukana na zotenga ine uh-huh. already we were working on on standing on our own no right because until 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 last minute uh-huh. you wanted to partner with UTM 
Zali pereka kumene kuja. Uh-huh. Ajoy sibanda. She told the nation. Uh-huh. Including BBC. Uh-huh. Kutisa kuhima. Right. So. Mwayambana kumene kusimu na mvetetani. Sangandi tero sangandi tero. Ndi ima. Uh-huh. Ndi akatenga ima. In your way you in the picture. Oh no. Now. Because the picture that we hear was. Roy <laughs> Kabena Ibrahim Matola. Now. I think. Uh-huh. If you look at it from that point of view. Uh-huh. It's ukala ngatukuti. And to fit in a ganga. No. In fact, you can see she was given a clear mandate what she's supposed to do as a party. So we actually, to us, standing alone mm. was an option. It was an option. A second option. Oh, yes. You did not want to stand as a party. You wanted to support the vice president. We did not. If you say we did not want to stand as a party, it's wrong. We okay. have always wanted to stand as a party. But we looked at the, ty- the political dynamics and we said, we think partnering with another party would give us a better chance, okay, of winning the elections, okay? So that is option number one. Option number two, if all fails, then we should be prepared to stand on our own. Mm-hmm. So we were prepared to stand on our own, okay? If this fails, if this option fails. There was another option of looking at other parties as well. But we looked at the other parties and said, no, 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 uh, look at it. I think the messages that we are sending between uh, you, you know, UTM and ourselves are almost similar in many respects compared to the others. So the option of standing alone has always been there. Yeah, for so long, I don't know I just ban on that one. I don't know an alliance in the UTM. Were you in the equation? Yes or no? For, for the running mate? Yes. No. Why? That is a decision. That's her prerogative. Who chooses the running mate? So you were a second option now. Zavuta. Yeah. 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 So clear, clear me up then. Mm-hmm. She cannot run alone. She, she needs to have a running Yeah, but it. in the discussion with UTM, mm-hmm. she said, Kuti, Roy. In the discussion mm-hmm. with UTM, yes. she accepted the proposal from UTM. The proposal came from UTM? From UTM. Not her? No. Okay. It came from UTM. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. And when she looked at it, she says, no, I think I can agree. Because if you insist on being the torch bearer, there's no way I can be your running mate. Now, if, see, if, if, the discuss- that, if, right. if the discussion flopped, mm-hmm. then Roy is not in the picture. Right. Why didn't she take Roy then? Who? Dr. Joyce Pond. No, she couldn't. So it was proper for not. it was proper for Jirima to run with Roy. Yes. But not Roy to run under PP ticket. You know that. You know that. You can't have the you know uh, uh, the, the, the the mother and the son, you know. Uh, you would have been the first one to, to come and say, "No, oh, this is a family family part." No, you can't do that. That's insensitive, and it was not possible. What are you bringing on the table in these elections, Doctor John? Me personally, mm-hmm. you know, this has been something I have been thinking about for a very long time. I don't want to boast about it, but this country has given me so many opportunities, too many, and I need to pay back. All right? Point number one. Mm -hmm. I have been in the private sector. I have managed a number of companies. I have done the restructuring of government reform. I have run my own businesses. I have been to the diplomatic service. Everywhere I was gathering, you know, knowledge. Okay? So to me, I was actually looking for payback time. Okay? What I'm bringing back to government is all these things that I have gathered while I was, you know, in diaspora, even when I was here, you know, working for different companies. And I must thank God that most of them have been a successful, successful experiences. To me, this is the time that I can contribute to the development of this country from the political podium. So I was, you know, I was happy. I was humble. Do you, of do, you, do, you, do you consider yourself 
a successful businessman? Well, I consider myself a successful businessman, but... Uh, Where's the evidence? One. Mm -hmm. Vipco. Okay. I rose from being a professional officer to the deputy chief, exec chief executive officer. If it flopped, it was not of my own making. And that was during the late Dr. Hastings comes Banda, may his soul rest in peace. It was very difficult for you to become a you know, chief executive. One, mm -hmm. he must have seen something. It wasn't easy, not during HKB's time. Two, Wiko. I had just done my second degree and got my MBA. I got back here, right? I went back to Vipco. Did not take long. They wanted me to head Wiko. And we turned Wiko into not only a family name, but for the first time, we even exported timber from, not timber, not timber, but knocked down, you know, uh, furniture from here, Wiko. You know of Wiko furniture, right? Mm -hmm. I think that was very successful. And I'm very proud of that one, Wiko furniture, because it was from nothing to where it was. You know, talk, we talk today we talk about adding value. We started adding value at Wiko, like no business, no you know nobody's business. Very successful. I'm very proud of that. Let's come to the chamber. I came to the chamber. It was down. Financially, literally broke. We started looking at how we're going to restructure the chamber. And we said we have to have other sources of revenue for the chamber. We can't depend on, you know, uh, uh, voluntary membership. So we expanded the membership. By doing what? We started National Association of Small and Medium Enterprises. That's me. We built that fence, <coughs> we built that fence around, right? So that we would have those adverts. And we built what you're calling now Comesa Hall, which is supposed to be, uh, you know, the, the breadwinner for the time being. So all that was to diversify the resources. And we got the embassies to support us. Okay? So for the first time, the chamber did not have to depend on membership fees. It was self-sustaining. That, to me, was a success. Now, I went to the embassy. Where you find now the embassy in Belgium was not the original embassy in, 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 in Belgium from Malawi. During my tenure there, we wanted a data embassy, and we found that one. Okay. The Belgians, for the first time, the Belgians, for the first time, supported us on a bilateral basis. So I was representing Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg, the so called Benelux countries. And then I was at WTO when we were negotiating the sugar, Askilovo. I was very actively involved in negotiating the, the sugar protocol for Malawi. So, Brian, mm -hmm. I'm quite happy with that. You, I, I was you very probably, satisfied. You were kicked out of Adman. <laughs> <laughs> Does that reflect well on you? Kick, kicked out? Kicked out, yes. How? How? How do you kick out somebody else who's doing well? Tell me. So, what happened me. at Adman then? Politics. And that's why I'm saying Politics. you were kicked out. Yeah, kicked out, but you know, not in that sense, that as if I was a failure. I was kicked out a success. You can't kick out a success. You can't kick out a success. Yeah. That's what common sense, you know, demands. So what happened today? Well, we'll ask the politicians. We'll take a short break. We'll be back with you in a moment. Okay. In case you're just joining us, this is Times Exclusive, airing on Times Network. I'm Brian Banda. In this edition of the program, I'm talking to the presidential running mate for the People's Party, Dr. Jerry Jana. The program tonight is coming to you, Ketese, of Rainbow Pens. We'll hear, we'll hear from them, and we'll be back in a moment. I love brilliant green on my walls. I love signal red, sweet lime, electric blue. I just love golden yellow. You get all that and more at Rainbow Paints. 
Imagine a water-based paint that is water-resistant. Imagine a paint that is absolutely washable to remove dirt. And it guarantees you 10,000 cleaning scrubs over its lifespan without losing its luster. There can only be one paint that does just that. And that paint is Acrylic Sheen. Get yours today at all leading hardware stores. Rainbow Paints. Peace of mind. Part of the deal. This is Times Exclusive, airing on Times Network. I'm Brian Banda. In this edition of the program, I'm talking to Dr. Jerry Jan. He's running with Dr. Joyce Banda on a PP ticket in the May 21 Trabited elections. Welcome back to the other half of the program. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Okay. N now that you have presented your nomination papers to Malawi Electoral Commission. Dr. Jerry Jana, if you may be candid with me, are you serious about this race as People's Party? Or odds have pushed you to run? We are very, very, very serious. I'll tell you why. You see, we are probably the luckiest party in, in the sense that, you know, we are, you know, politics is about, is about selling yourself, selling a brand. People's Party, to me, is the only party which has got two sellable brands, marketable brands. The first brand mm -hmm. is Joyce Banda herself. Everywhere you go, Bola Amaya Omweo, Bola Amaya Acha, and so forth. She is not only here in Malawi, but internationally, a marketable brand. On her own. In other words, she can win the election on her own as president. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. The second one is People's Party itself. It's refusing to die. After four years of uh, the you know, the, the president of the party being out of the country, she came back to find that the grassroots are still as strong and growing stronger. If there were defections, they were all superficial. They were all at the top there. They were, but if you look at the owners of the party, the people who started Friends of Joyce Banda, people who started People's Party from the grassroots, they were intact. So it is a sellable brand on its own, People's Party. Yeah, but until... 11th hour, you were yet to, you were, you were to support another political party. This is why I'm saying, Kuti, are you serious? Because watching from the sidelines, it looked like you are not interested in the presidency. You wanted to support, you wanted to go into a coalition. Never. Never. You just told me that you wanted to go into a coalition. Opted to go into a coalition is not wanted to go into a coalition. Let's you can you check. can you can choose in terminologies that suits yeah, what you are believing in. Exactly. But what what I'm telling you is that us watching from the sidelines, we saw that you are not ready. You wanted to go and support another party. No, 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 no. I refuse to accept that. Mm -hmm. We did not want to go and support another party. The other party saw some strength in us. We saw some strength in them. The two of us combined will come up with a, more, a, 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 a much stronger presentation. Who first contacted the other? They contacted us. Not once, not twice, mm -hmm. but several times. So, you see, mm -hmm. we, have to, we have to understand this. Mm -hmm. This coalition was not based on us trying to support anybody. It was trying to strengthen our position our own. <coughs> mm. They shows, what did they see? What did they see in us? What they saw in us was that we had the very strong grassroots structures which are there. All right. In in in, in twenty fourteen, mm -hmm. Joyce Banda came third. Yes. One million fifty six votes. Mm. 
how sure are you this time that you you, you are serious? Brian, come on. Let this, let, let's be honest here. Yeah, if you may be candid with I me. I mean, let's be candid. Yeah, here. yeah. That election was fraudulent. Says who? Me. Okay. And many out there, they know it. If we had a strong system, electoral system, judicial system, that election should have been nullified. Because it was fraudulent. I'm saying it, and I know that what I'm saying is true. We did not lose elections. We did not lose that election. Yeah, but you came third. It was stolen from us. You certainly don't steal from someone who is coming third no. in a race. No, 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 no. Dr. Jan. No. You steal so that it becomes a third. They didn't steal from us to become third. We became third because they stole from us. So how serious this time around that you're going to win? Very serious. We have never been more serious. We have never been more serious. Look at look, look at this, what is happening. The only we should take my party is We are solid as a rock because we have got strong grassroots. No, you have probably lost some to UTM, DPP, and other parties. Did you watch yesterday what happened in in Chikwau? Did you people, watch? people, Doctor Jana, yes. you should know by now. I'm a bit anti Kumisongano for different reasons. Are those the ones you are saying lost? No, I'm just telling you, you cannot just say all of us, are, all, 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 they're your members. Others go to political rallies for entertainment. So which ones did we lose? You lost some to other political parties. Which ones? You know what I'm talking about. Now, which ones? Which ones? Be, I mean, you asked me to be candid. Be candid. You have lost other members of the party to other political parties. Which ones? Kukalawa Joyce Banda kunja four years. Uh -huh. Did that have any impact on you yes. as a party? Yes, yes, it did. It did. If you are referring, Oladi Musa left. Aha. Uh -huh. You right. wanted to me. You wanted me to give yes. examples. Yes, yes. Oladi Musa. A lot, a lot of people left in the party. Yes, yes, yes. Look. So you cannot say you are stronger today than you were four years ago, Doctor Jana. Ah, uh, yes. Look. Do you agree with me? I don't. <laughs> Doctor Jana. I don't. Uh, let me please. tell you. Yes. Let me tell you. Yes. You know, there are political opportunists. They come in for their own reasons. Most of the times, personal reasons. They will move with the, with the wind. And those have moved away. To us, it's good riddance. It's not the numbers. It's the quality of the people that remain behind. Those who left were just bumping up our numbers. So you agree with me yes. that people left the party? Yes, yes, that, that I agree with you. Three minutes ago you said, no, you are stronger today than you were four years ago. No, 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 no. You asked me, yes. you told me that we have lost some. Then I was asking you which ones. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, you, now you were asking me yes. that, you know, are you stronger today than before? Mm -hmm. Then I'm telling you, yes, we are stronger today. Because some of these people that... Go away is good riddance. You understand what I'm saying? Mugabida Mizimu. Yes. Muguma was a giant. If our message has always been the same, consistent, do you want to know that talking about losing, we could have lost more people if we had gone through with that alliance? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm being candid. The, the day that, you know, we announce that, no, we are going it alone. And, okay, fine. I'll tell you this. Maybe out of respect and good manners and discipline, our members did not want to express a lot of disappointment on the alliance. All right? Okay? Mm -hmm. The one thing that dis disappointed them most was the fact that Joyce Banda was not standing. That, that alone was what was going to cost us. If she was torchbearer, 
in an alliance, that was okay. But for her to say she's standing down, it's just the grace of God that the whole thing was reversed. And you should have seen the people that have been coming to her house to say, praise the Lord. That was a bad experience. Now, honestly, they are saying that. You know? So, really, we are stronger. We are stronger. My question is, what are you telling the people? The people? Your administration was mad with Cashgate oh. and other matters. Why should people trust Joyce Banda and you to run the affairs of our country? I want Malawians to reflect seriously about this. Okay? Cashgate, whatever you call Cashgate, which I call the plunder of public resources. It happened under her watch. It happened under her watch. Yes. And she is the only president in Africa who in her term actually faced the plunder of public resources head on. She's the only one who actually, you know, instituted a forensic audit. Knowing very well that maybe, maybe some of this, some of my own people may be involved in this. Maybe. And two, knowing that it could cost me my own position. She's the only one. She was the only one who had those guts and was ready to face it. And when they found out that these people were involved in Kashigate, she said, arrest them. Let the Lord take its course. My question is, what are you telling the now, people? So what we're telling the people... Yes, what are you telling the people? You see, what was happening was that there was this scaremongering that she was going to be arrested and so forth. She came. She has not been arrested. She has not guilty of any offense. So at least what we're telling the people <coughs> is this. That Joyce Banda is back, she's standing, mm -hmm. and she's continuing from where she left. And her message is simple. There's no way you can boast about a development when you are leaving the majority of the people behind. I am concerned with the people, the vulnerable, the underprivileged, the women and the children. These are the people they want to uplift. The message is the same. Pro poor programs, she has actually yeah. demonstrated that. So the message is very clear. We want to uplift the standards of living of everyone, but especially those who are vulnerable and marginalized. You are saying what happened in those two years was phase one. Yes. And this is phase two. What do you want to do in phase two? Phase two yes. is to stabilize the economy and grow the economy. Stabilize the economy because, I mean, the, the economy is bleeding, okay? What we need to do is mm. actually to arrest this, this bleeding, stabilize the economy, and start growing the economy. Inuyo, Dr. Jerry Jana, Munali Bontayonse, including Taimene, Dr. Joyce Banda, and President Wadzigorino. Mwago Marero, why didn't she take you if she knew you have something in 2014, for example, as running mate. She asked me. She asked me. What did you tell her? I said, if you want to guess the best out of me, I am a technocrat. She called me to Moody and said, look, but this was now after the fateful event, okay? The death of the... Uh, president. She said, look, I can consider you to join politics, frontline politics. And before I talk to you about that, what would you prefer? To come into frontline politics or something else? Because I had already discussed with her at length what we are discussing today. And my preference was that I should be involved in revamping the economy, okay? 
So I was talking about the parastatals, you know, uh, having done the civil service reform, I was telling her now, now what we need to do is to, re, you know, to look at these parastatals and carry out a similar reform as we did with the civil service, you know. So we have been discussing this all the time. I have known her for a long time, okay. So when we were discussing this, she knew that I was more interested in this kind of things, restructuring, reforms, and so forth. So... When this thing happened, tiri kumaliro wa abingo, okay? Tira chuka kumene kuja, tiku bera, I received a call, can we meet? And I went straight to uh, Muthu. And that's where she asked me, do you want to go into real politics? And I said, your excellency, you remember what I had been discussing with you? If you want to get the best out of me now, maybe in future I'll think about frontline politics. Mm. But if you want to get the best out of me now, you remember the discussions we've been having? So it's not the <laughs> Aye, 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 aye. Not at all? Not at all. Not at all. Not are at you all. now ready for frontline politics? I'm ready for frontline politics. Because four politics. years ago you said you are not ready. That ready in yeah. the sense that, you know, yeah. if I was given a choice, yes. I would rather do that because I knew that the parastatal sector, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. can actually, you know, revamp the economy, okay, if it is properly handled. And we're looking at ADMAC, we're looking at uh, ESCOM, we're looking at all these other things. Well, it's bleeding, they're bleeding. Where are you getting the money for campaign? You are having some huge rallies with lots of pomp and the flair. Where are you getting the money? We have a lot Dr. of Jack. We have a lot of friends. From America? From everywhere. Even we as individuals. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? I'm you know, I'm I'm coming from Zomba. Okay? Mm -hmm. Friends paid my you know uh, my 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 my, uh, my fuel. Friends I'm to break a game. So many bigger motor, we carry the way around in it. I mean, in the Gary Moto, Comasopano, Paris, Chilosina, Zofra, wouldn't get into Peter Kuntaja, Gamor Yanga, Gamor Yaraning, Gamor Yaraning, Siam Ham, Yoga Figa, and Taran, it in the bar note. Eh, what I mean is an Iran media, but over the other than the great. So, drama was in the wood. This minute was in the woods and his. Alias of the chip from his pocket, knowing very, very well when I would. You know, this is the situation we are in. Okay. So we we have been, uh, you know, uh, not in the in the picture for some time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we did not have uh, resources. Um, yeah. Everybody understands. Those who love the party mm -hmm. understand these things. Those who love the party understand these things. So that each one of us has got to chip in. Are you serious? Could he? Mutenga Boma 2019, Kabena Mungo Tandiza and Fumu Gredze. If it made one era Mutenga Boma, made one era. Kuyang Kulanga Wandare, Kabena Kuyang Kulanga is a serious. The serious one be. Even in a name, the Kuyang Kula, that Mutamini, who has been around. I have been through all. Are you fielding? Candidates in all the 193 constituencies. This is what we intend to do. Okay, this is what we intend to do mm. today. The meeting we have been having today mm. was, uh, you know, restrategizing. You know, could advance you, advance to find that where are we strong? Do you want where? to answer my question? Are you fielding candidates in all 193 constituencies? This is what we intend to do. Intention. Command to Africa, Gary, my people. Yeah, to Africa, Gary. To them, Africa, come say. This is what we have been doing, as I said, today. Mm -hmm. eh? Okay, where we are strong, we should now focus and put our energies there to make sure that we secure those positions. So we are in the busy now, we are busy now doing the, the, the data, and that's the Atwalipa meeting, our bank You know? Do you understand that the, the role that you are taking you might end up to be the vice president of this country if the people watching us in Malawi who vote for you. Are you ready and equal to this task? And that you are probably a president in waiting. 
I have been very ready. I mean... You have been very ready? I have been very ready, Brian. And as you remember, I, I started by telling you that this country has done a lot for me, you know. I mean, you know, by being in, in, in all those positions of being chairman of Press Corporation, being chairman of uh, MDC, and intermingling with business, intermingling with small and, and, uh, and, and large businesses, intermingling with uh, the diplomatic service, you know, you know, in and out of the country. W, representing Malawi at WTO and, and so forth, where we're talking nothing but trade and also all those things. Well, you know, how much preparation do you want, you know, for you to take up a task like this? But mm. remember this, every task has its own challenges. And when you haven't been there, there are always new challenges. Unfortunately, time is not our best ally. You have a family, kids? I have a family and kids. How many? Many. Many? Yes. What are you reading this week? This week, I'm reading a book on You Wanted to Be a Leader. Mm -hmm. That's the title of the book. That's the title of the book. We wish we had more time. Dr. Jerry Jana, quite intriguing hearing you talk tonight. It's a pleasure. Wishing you the very best of luck as we approach 2019 tripartite elections. Thank and you. thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, on that note, we conclude this week's edition of Times Exclusive here on Times Television. In this edition of the program, I've been talking to Dr. Jerry Jana, a running mate to President Joyce Banda of People's Party for the tripartite elections coming in two months time on 21st May, 2019. My name is Brian Banda. Should you have anything to tell me or feedback on our, on, on our discussion tonight, drop, it, drop me an email, Brian Banda, at bnltimes.com until next week when i'll come back with another guest this is times exclusive on times network goodbye <laughs>